full-time food and drink streamer. <laughs>my path to streaming is I would say maybe a little unusual. Originally I started doing recorded content on YouTube, making food from Final Fantasy 14. And I originally didn't want to go live because I'm actually kind of shy and I don't like being the center of attention. So I recorded my videos basically with no face in it. It's just hands and pans, which that's the style of video. And at the end, you know, there's me with my dog and like I get a little bit of a, you know, a wave and that's it. I did that for about a year and the year ended at the beginning of pandemic, like just at the very beginning. And then I was thinking about getting back back into it, but doing recipe development takes up a lot of materials like ingredients and it felt kind of wrong to use up so much stuff at the time because i didn't know what was happening and i got really into watching twitch and then i was like you know what i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do it live and i'm gonna make the food and eat the food and it's just that's it like i don't make it over and over and over again to test so that's how i got into it and what do i enjoy most about it it's definitely talking with the community. I didn't expect there was gonna be so many people. My first stream was maybe 60 people average watching. I didn't know. <laughs> um, and I was really nervous. I was really nervous because chat was really busy and I, I thought I would get a chance to not have such a busy chat in practice. Nope, that didn't happen. So over time, I, you know, lost my feeling of nervousness and getting to know the people and seeing people get excited about seeing their like family's food or their culture's food or something that they've never tried before or like i've always wondered what this was like or i don't know how to use this ingredient or i don't know how to use this tool that kind of thing sharing information and learning from from chat as well they'll be like oh i've done this before you can try this so it's it's not just like me delivering a lecture it's very much a two-way street of learning the story behind my channel name is it's a recipe reborn. And if you don't play Final Fantasy 14, you might not know that when it was first released, it wasn't that good. So what they did was they blew it up <laughs> and <laughs> they released, they re-released the game under the heading A Realm Reborn. This is the game from which I am making food. So I took a while to figure out what I was gonna call my channel and I wish I could remember where the paper was, where I wrote down all my ideas. I don't have it anymore. But once I said a recipe reborn, I was like, that's it. That's the one done. So that's where it came from. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, making food, usually around 12 p.m. Eastern. And it's usually a combination of educational and I'm currently enrolled in culinary school. So there's professional cooking techniques. I share what I've learned, things, tips and tricks that I've I've come across along the way, my personal preferences that might be different from what the professionals do. So there's that. And then the other side of it is being like a kitchen gremlin and making weird comments about food and thinking about what a rhinoceros tastes like and that kind of stuff. <laughs> so like Egypt lemon, le lemonon? Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> I can't believe I said Lemonon instead of Lebanon. <laughs> What's the deal with beef broth? Don't worry, Jeremy. Hold on. The deal with beef broth, I'll tell you right now. You ready? Listen up. The deal with beef broth is that if you buy two, you get 50 cents off both. So you can buy two for five dollars. That's the deal with beef broth. You're welcome. <laughs> so, so there's that those two things, the, the dichotomy of like taking food seriously but not too seriously, but also my dog who's really I my, in my view the star of the show. <laughs>
Hi, sweetie. Yes, I love you too. She's named after the the sounds that Moogles make. Moogles are from Final Fantasy XIV, so at the end of every sentence they say Koopo. So when we're talking to her, it's like we speak her language. Great question. I definitely have an answer for that because it's a very common question. It's Sky Builders Stew. So in in Final Fantasy XIV, there's a re a well loved region called Ishgard, and that specific region has very cozy, comfy food that's rich and cheesy. And when I made it IRL, I used a parallel cultures recipe, um, Quebec, I'm from Canada. So food from the Acadian region, l'Acadie, uh, there is a chicken and dumplings recipe that's really similar to what I imagined that food to be. And I was able to use ingredients from the in-game region to bring it to life and it just was so good and I was really satisfied with how I was able to just sort of interpret the people of Ishgard and their food and their culture and bring that into a plate. It was really fun. Yeah, keeping chat engaged is is a challenge for me because I it, I'm trying to do so much at the same time and often I'm standing over here and I'm trying to read chat from pretty far away. So it is a challenge, but usually what I do is I'll ask people if they've ever made the food that I'm making before, or if they've ever had it before, or I love asking, I ask every day, what are you eating today? What did you eat today? What are you going to eat today? What are you eating tomorrow? It's like, I need to know what people are eating like every day. <laughs> Because a lot of times people will say something and I'm like, I've never heard of that before. And I love learning about food that I haven't heard of before. So that's it's a great way to to expand my knowledge of food. There's also the thought experiments of, you know, what would a rhinoceros taste like? <laughs> this is this is a new topic in, this, in the past week. <laughs> Yeah, it's a recent, like within this specific week, the rhino, what does a rhino taste like? So trying to think of like what interesting food, you know, if you had the chance, what would it be like? And uh, I'm also a very well-known mayo hater. I don't like mayonnaise. So if I, <laughs> if, if chat wants to like make fun of me or, you know, tease me in some way, usually it's mayo related. <laughs> It's the same advice that I give to people when they're like, oh, maybe I'm going to try this new thing. It's just to go for it. Because like I mentioned before, I didn't know whether or not I was going to like streaming. So I was very hesitant and tentative and iterative with my stream. Like, I'm not going to like involve myself too deeply. I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. So yeah, short, short answer is just try it and go for it and like give it a real strong effort. Go for it. I um, lately, I don't really watch a lot of food media outside of the like Twitch specifically, um, like here and there I do, but I do have a favorite on Twitch that's been an inspiration for me and somebody that I just, when I was doing research and figuring out what I could do, what other people were doing, they became like a source of information as well as inspiration. It's LA at the Hunger Service. He does food and drink streams. He's been doing it for ages and ages for a long time. And before that he was a photographer. So he has like a similar creative background as me before I was a musician. I was also a hairstylist. So we had a similar like transition into food and content creation in food. And over the years, we've, you know, become friends and colleagues and we're, we happen to be on the opposite side of the continent. So I would love to collaborate with him sometime. I really love the text-to-speech. I attach Brian's text-to-speech um, to a bits if somebody donates bits and my chat likes to make them say really silly things and tell us jokes and stuff. So I would definitely not be able to live without the text to speech with Brian. Hi Lemon, this is Brian. I couldn't live without you too. <laughs> but there's lots of things like because I'm doing so much, it's easier for things to be packaged in like an all in one. You know what I mean? Like a one stop shop that does everything. It handles so much for me that I would otherwise have to do like use a million bots to do separately. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me in my kitchen at twitch.tv slash a recipe reborn Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Not safe for hungry people, so definitely bring a snack. See you then.